Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my personal collection of All For People sunglasses. You guys have been asking me to review my collection for the longest time, so today we are finally making the collection update for 2021. Now here on the table, we can see I have 10 different pairs of All For People sunglasses, and the reason I only have 10 pairs is because All For People sunglasses are definitely pretty expensive. Every pair here is gonna be around $400, so that's about $4,000 dollars of sunglasses just on the table alone. Now when it comes to Ray-Ban, on the other hand, I probably own about 100 pairs of those sunglasses because they are much more affordable. So with all of our people's sunglasses being so much more expensive than Ray-Bans, I really have to carefully choose which pair of sunglasses I add to the collection and which pair I take away. My collection of sunglasses is always rotating. I occasionally do sell a pair, but usually I'm adding pairs to the collection more than I am taking away. So in today's video, I'm going to wear each and every one of these sunglasses here on the table to kind of showcase the styling and how they're gonna look like on face. I'm gonna kind of talk about what I like about each individual frame and why they are in my collection. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at the pair over here to the left. These are the All For People's Heat and Sunglasses. They have 51 millimeter lenses and a 21 millimeter bridge. And I really do like the look of these sunglasses. They have these absolutely beautiful acetate fronts, and then they have these really cool temples as well that are acetate, but they are a clear acetate material. There are a lot of really nice and beautiful fine details on these frames. They have all glass lenses, and they definitely have that vintage styling with the keyhole style bridge here on these frames. Also, of course, those metal accents here in the top corners also really do help add a really nice look to these frames. So it's go ahead and put these down and then take a look at the next pair which is a very rare pair of all people sunglasses these are called the opel sun so these sunglasses have 53 millimeter lenses and an 18 millimeter bridge and these sunglasses look really good and again they are very special these sunglasses are actually the last pair of sunglasses i believe that the founder larry light of all of people's actually worked on and helped produce. And these frames have actually been worn by a ton of different celebrities and actually one US president. And these sunglasses were actually Barack Obama's favorite pair of sunglasses that he wore absolutely all the time. The pair that he wore, I believe, did have matte black frames where these have these beautiful tortoise acetate frames, which look really nice. Something really unique about these frames, they have this little etching here on the hinges, which really looks nice and is a cool touch to the sunglasses. The next pair here we have is the All For People's Benedict sunglasses. These sunglasses have 59 millimeter lenses and a 16 millimeter bridge. And these are more of your traditional teardrop aviator style pair of sunglasses. These are very similar to the All For People's Victory sunglasses, but of course these have teardrop shaped lenses versus the more squared lenses in the All For People's Victory. I obviously have been wanting to get a pair of All For People's Victory sunglasses for the longest time, but those probably sell for about $800 to $1,000, and I just can't justify spending that much money on a pair of sunglasses, and it's also very hard to even find one for sale. But here we can see these sunglasses do have those same really cool and unique kind of bayonet style uh, ear rests, which look really good behind the ear, and they fit very good as well. I really do like the styling of of these frames. These frames are very elegant and I just really like the styling of them. So the next pair we are going to take a look at here is the All For People's NDG. These sunglasses have 50 millimeter lenses and a 19 millimeter bridge. And these offer very similar styling to the All For People's Opel Sun, but they're not going to be quite as fancy as those frames. And the lens are also going to be a little bit shorter, offering a different look. Now these sunglasses have absolutely beautiful acetate frames and of course all glass lenses. Actually every single pair of sunglasses here on the table have all glass lenses. So the optical clarity of them all is very nice and they're going to last a long time because they're not going to scratch nearly as easy as plastic lenses. And also every pair here on the table does have all metal hinges, which is very nice. The All For People's NDG are absolutely classic sunglasses and unfortunately you can no longer buy them. So they are very hard to get your hands on, but you really definitely can't beat the styling of these frames. Like I said, they are absolutely classic and I think that these sunglasses are just really, really nice. 
Uh, the next sunglasses that we have here are the All People's Daddy B sunglasses. These sunglasses have 58 millimeter lenses and a 19 millimeter bridge. And these are probably the most quintessential Hollywood styling sunglasses that ever have existed with their big black frames and their huge lenses. These sunglasses just scream Los Angeles and they just scream Hollywood. And I really do like the styling of these sunglasses. If you're looking for something that's very bold and that are going to make you stand out, this pair of sunglasses is definitely gonna be the one for you. These have been worn by a ton of different celebrities and I just really do like the styling of these frames. These sunglasses have absolutely beautiful acetate frames and they come in a ton of different colorways, but you really definitely can't beat that black acetate material, which looks really nice. The next pair we have here is the Oliver Peoples Oliver Sun. So these are actually named after the company and these have these absolutely beautiful honey acetate frames and they are a very nice looking pair of sunglasses. These sunglasses are actually relatively new. They came out about three years ago and I think these are definitely going to become a classic in Oliver Peoples lineup. The styling of these as well just looks really good. They kind of are what Oliver Peoples imagined the original Ray-Ban Wayfair, but they definitely made them look much more classy and much more new and nice. These frames are just absolutely gorgeous and they have beautiful etching here on the stems of the sunglasses and that just looks really, really nice. The next pair we have here is a pair of Oliver People's mass sunglasses and I actually personally uh, customized these sunglasses so they have these really nice matte black fronts and these beautiful acetate temples. I think that's a really cool combination to the frames. As far as dimensions go, these sunglasses have 51 millimeter lenses and a 21 millimeter millimeter bridge and these sunglasses were kind of very similar to the Oliver Peoples Oliver Sun but these sunglasses actually uh, came out about maybe 10 years before the Oliver Sun did. Now unfortunately Oliver Peoples have discontinued these sunglasses so you cannot buy them anymore and again this particular colorway you could never buy because I personally customized these sunglasses at a Oliver Peoples store myself but I think these are just a very unique and interesting pair of sunglasses and what's really cool about them because I customized them I'm never going to run into anybody wearing the exact same pair of sunglasses as these. So I'm basically the only person in the world that have a pair of sunglasses that look just like this, which is definitely very cool. I always hate it when I'm out in public and I see somebody wearing the exact same pair of sunglasses that I have on. Usually that doesn't happen if you're wearing a pair of Oliver People sunglasses to begin with. Usually happens if you're wearing a pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers or Aviator or something like that. But nevertheless, I really do enjoy this pair of sunglasses. Okay, so the next pair of sunglasses we're going to take a look at here is the Oliver Peoples Rockmore sunglasses. So these sunglasses have 58 millimeter lenses, I believe, and a 15 millimeter bridge. These have photochromic lenses, which are gonna be darker when you walk out in harsh direct sunlight. Now, as far as styling goes on these, I really do like the styling of these frames. These sunglasses are basically a more rounder version of a traditional pair of Ray-Ban aviators. And I think that looks really good and works very good with my face. These frames also have this absolutely beautiful etching here on the frames which looks really nice as well. They also have fully adjustable nose rests and they have these absolutely gorgeous acetate ear rests which, which feel very good behind the ear when wearing them. This is just a really cool pair of all people sunglasses and it's actually probably one of my favorites here. So next up we have here is the Oliver Peoples uh, LA colon sunglasses. These sunglasses have 49 millimeter lenses and a 20 millimeter bridge. And these sunglasses also have photochromic lenses in them. I really do like the styling of these frames. They look a little bit more nerdy than probably all the other sunglasses here on the table, but I actually really do enjoy this look. It offers a very sophisticated styling to them, but because of their more nerdy styling, if you will, they definitely make you look a lot more sophisticated, a lot more smarter than most of the other pair of sunglasses here on the table. So if you're looking for that very well-educated, uh, very smart look, I really don't think you can go wrong with this pair of sunglasses. They have these absolutely gorgeous acetate frames, which look really nice. Of course, all glass lenses and nice all metal hinges. And unfortunately, I don't think Oliver Peoples produces this pair of sunglasses anymore. So it's gonna be a little bit hard to get your hands on these frames. 
Okay, and last up here, we have the All Over People's Clifton Sunglasses. These are an absolutely gorgeous pair of sunglasses. Of course, they have all metal frames and all glass lenses, and I think the sunglasses look really, really good on face. These sunglasses, again, are going to be very similar to my favorite pair of All Over People's Sunglasses, which is the All Over People's Victory that unfortunately, like I said, they're selling for $800 or $1,000 plus. dollars. So unfortunately, I can't get my hands on them. So these are probably the closest styling pair of sunglasses to those All Over People's Victory sunglasses. These basically just have bigger lenses than those Victory, but these still look very, very good on my face, and they're gonna look good on basically anybody's face as well. This is overall a very cool pair of sunglasses, and I think you guys are definitely going to like these a lot. So that's my collection of sunglasses. I really do enjoy every single pair that is here on the table. I really don't have any favorites. If I did have a favorite, it would probably be the All People's Opel Sun because they are such classics. And again, you really can't get these. These are all selling for about $1,000 here on eBay. So it's very, very hard to get a hold of these sunglasses. But I really do like the styling of these sunglasses. But I definitely like each and every one of these sunglasses here on the table. And I definitely don't see myself getting rid of any one of these pairs anytime soon. Well, that's about all I got for you guys in this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up below. And of course, make sure to subscribe to this channel and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.